Today we want to take you deep down the rabbit hole to a dark, dark place. We want to take you to the unknown world of dark social. This is Knowledge Bill. Okay, let's just cut it. Uh, there's nothing dark about dark social. Dark social is probably something that you've been doing already for a long time and it's nothing illegal about it. It's nothing to do with dark web or places that you're going to go and find drugs online. Dark social is something that's been around since 2012 and it's basically any sort of social interaction that cannot be tracked by things like Google Analytics. Think of SMS, email, or if you're using WhatsApp or Signal. Let me give you a better example. Uh, if you post on Facebook that you're looking for a music school for your kid, and people start recommending stuff on Facebook, right? That's something that can be tracked. But maybe your best friend is going to send you an SMS with a link, check this school. Or your parents are going to send you an email like, oh, we heard you're looking for a school, check this school, and there's a link inside the email. That is dark social. Anything that cannot be tracked by things like Google Analytics. So let me explain you the way dark social works. When you're a marketer and you want to track how people is uh, accessing or finding your website, you will go to analytics and try to figure out the path, right? You will say, okay, people is clicking on my ads, so they're coming from Facebook. Or people is coming from LinkedIn because I'm putting a lot of posts in there. So you have an idea of how people end up in your website or buying your product. With dark social, it's the opposite. You don't see what they're saying or what they're doing. You just see a direct connection, almost like someone just type the name of your website directly on the browser. The biggest problem here is that because you don't see what they're saying about your brand or how they're getting there, you don't really know if this is a positive or a negative. Maybe people are sharing behind your back how terrible your website design is or how bad your product is. So this is something to bear in mind if you're a marketer. Uh, dark social is something very interesting because after all it's digital word of mouth, but it's also very tricky to track. Now, dark social is on the rise. A lot of people is being... Um, finding new apps or different ways to communicate. WhatsApp, the use of WhatsApp is huge right now. Uh, Signal is becoming bigger and bigger. Even private messenger applications are getting a lot popular or even going back to email. You just want to have a direct conversation with someone. If you look at the numbers with Facebook in the year 2017, there were 30 billion interactions on the first quarter versus 2018 with 13 billion. That is a huge drop. And some of the reasons is that people is trusting less on public channels like Facebook and Twitter. And don't think that is a bad thing. Facebook and Twitter, they're not a huge uh, platform for sharing, as you might be thinking. A lot of the interactions and sharing that people are really doing are happening privately, are happening SMS, email, or some of the messaging, uh, messaging applications. Now, as a marketer, you can take two ways. You can completely forget about what's happening behind your back in the dark social, or you can try to embrace it. Uh, some of the things that you can do is try to find the behavior that is common between people using dark social. Uh, people who share personal photos or fun videos, they're more likely to share stuff in dark social. And at the same time, the kind of sharing that you do is not about your about us site or like random stuff. They, they're going to go directly to the specifics. They want to share something. If you ask about a price, this is the pricing page that's going to go into that link. If you, they want to know about uh, your location, is the location link that is going to go in that uh, sharing, in that message. So make sure you strategize your page in a way that is easy to share to find the information that people might be looking for. So dark social is here to stay and it's not something you should avoid or try not to talk about. As a marketer, you should be looking at these things happening behind your back and why it's so important. The people using dark social is usually people very close to you. So it'll be your parents, your friends, your kids. And when word of mouth is used by these kind of people, it's a lot more powerful. If your dad tells you, go to my mechanic, you will probably listen to that on the first time. I want to invite you to check our step up about dark social and how you can use it better in your strategy. If you want to know more, you can, read, uh, you can read Eric Toden's blog post about it, which inspired this video. That's all I have for you today. We'll see you next time. Cheers. We really want to hear from you. So make sure to leave a comment in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.